week on The Brian Murray Show. Welcome to The Brian Murray Show, a real estate show, New Jersey style. Today's discussion point is how to cost yourself money when selling real estate. Sellers often think that the way they cost themselves money is by underpricing or by not negotiating properly or by not having multiple offers. And while all of those can have an impact on your ultimate price that you receive, here are really simple ways that sellers cost themselves money in today's market. Number one, they think that their project can just be pushed down to the buyer, meaning, oh, they have a beat up kitchen. Oh, they have marked up floors. Oh, the place has got scuffs all over the wall. Oh, the buyer will take care of all of that. Here's the truth in today's market. The single biggest truth when it comes to buyers. One, they can borrow money at under 3%. They can leverage it at 80 cents for every dollar that they purchase. So they can leverage the money and they can leverage that money cheaply. The last thing they want to do is inherit someone else's problem when they buy a home. They don't have twenty or $30,000 for a new kitchen. Fact of the matter is, if you think about twenty thousand dollars, they can borrow. They can put four thousand dollars extra down, borrow the sixteen at three percent, never have to do a renovation. Uh, my company has a concierge program for sellers, where sometimes we can even lend you the money to do the project, and just take it out of the proceeds. So that's a great way of handling that uh, particular objection. Nobody wants your problem. That's number one way that sellers lose money. Number two is they don't stage the place. Everything is look and feel. It needs to be new feeling and it needs to be staged. People need to know where to put their couch, where to put their TV. They wanna feel it when they come in. They wanna know where their dining room table is gonna go. Is it gonna fit? If people can't figure out where to put their TV, where to put their bed, where to put their dining room table, they don't buy your home. And number three, we're in the middle of summer. I just did an open house on a 90 plus degree day. Do you know what the temperature I set the thermometer in the HVAC was? 69 degrees. I want people to come in and I want them to feel like they need to put a sweater on. They just came in from the outside. They're hot, they're sweaty, they're miserable, and they're looking at the home. I want them to come in and go, wow, it feels great in here. The first 10 seconds when they walk in the house, the first thing they think is, wow, it feels great. Now that cost my seller somewhere around 80 cents to a dollar more for the two hours that I was there to turn that temperature down an extra six, seven, eight degrees. For a buyer to go, wow, it feels great. Those are three areas that sellers cost themselves money. Number one is they try to push their project down on someone else. Number two, they don't stage. And number three, they don't make the feel and the temperature right for the environment. This is today's discussion point. Weekly numbers, August.
the good, the bad, the ugly.